Here we are asked to match each of the following letter the procedures with a numbered area. Each number may be used once or not at all. The first option is A, bone marrow biopsy. Bone marrow biopsy is uh, usually taken from the sternum because the sternum uh, has red bone marrow and it has a subcutaneous position and usually a bone marrow biopsy is taken from this region from the body of the sternum. Here this is the sternal angle, it's a joint and here is the jugular notch. So this part of the sternum, the body of the sternum is used for bone marrow biopsy. The numbered structure that is used for rib counting, it is the sternal angle. The sternal angle, which is a joint between the manubrium of the sternum and the body of the sternum, manubrio-sternal joint. It is a secondary cartilaginous joint. It has a little bit angulation of about seven degrees and can be felt just beneath the skin. If we go just lateral to it, it's the second costal cartilage, and then we can start rib counting from this position, second costal cartilage, the space below it is the second intercostal space, then the third, third intercostal space, fourth, and fourth intercostal space, and so on. We usually, we don't use the first rib because the first rib uh, has a location that is hidden by the clavicle, so it is uh, not easily felt on the anterior thoracic wall. Which area is used in intracardiac injection into the right ventricle? So uh, we have to remember the surface anatomy of the heart. And here is the location of the right ventricle. The right ventricle forms most of the anterior surface of the heart. Here it is the fourth intercostal space on the left side of the sternum. The right ventricle is located to the left side of the sternum. The right atrium is located to the right side of the sternum. So if we are asked to inject into the right atrium, for example, then we would use the position 7 here on the right side of the sternum, but to the left side of the sternum, it is the right ventricle. The left ventricle is only located for a very short strip on the anterior surface of the heart, on the precordium, but most of the left ventricle is located posteriorly and on the inferior surface of the heart. Which area is used for auscultation of the aortic valve? and uh, this will be in the second right intercostal space and so it will be area four this is used for auscultation of the aortic valve for the pulmonary valve we usually use the uh, left second intercostal space to the side of the sternum but for the aortic valve it is the right second intercostal space just to the side of the sternum Please don't forget that these auscultatory areas, they do not match the anatomical positions of the valves. All of the valves of the heart are located behind the sternum, but these auscultatory areas, they represent the areas where the sounds of these valves are best heard on the thoracic wall. Which area is used for palpation of the trachea? The trachea is the a most anterior structure that is located behind the jugular notch and so it can be palpated here at one. 